Hi, this is Nick. Uh, what I've got here is my f1.0 lens. Um, this is only a first uh, prototype. I showed like a very short video before with this lens, which was really cobbled together. This is still kind of cobbled together. Um, but uh, I was just feeling a little bit froggy, so I pieced something together. Uh, of course, uh, first we have a, because I'm using an HVX200. Uh, I didn't really set this up for very good exposure. You know, all that's blown out, but I'm not really worrying about it artsy part of showing you guys this as long as you can see this stuff I got the condenser lens off my M2 <clears throat> with a 82 to 72 ring there uh, then I have uh, quite a large series of rings as you can see I just needed extra space uh, in there <clears throat> so that I could properly focus on the uh, the screen uh, so it's just a whole bunch of different uh, rings and then an actual uh, 55 millimeter tube uh, let me <clears throat> the 55 millimeter tube which ends in a 5 micron uh, ground glass screen there's the tube and it's got like some gaff tape here um, uh, so that I can uh, fit the uh, the what I'm going to show you in a second uh, but uh, it, you know you got the the acromat uh, to a few rings to give me a little extra space even you know the uh, this tube wasn't even enough space I needed more uh, so I'll probably just get another tube so I'll stack a couple of tubes and it'll probably work out pretty good uh, but then the ground glass there which to work out really good uh, I I can't see any grain I but I haven't looked at a whole lot of footage uh, zoomed in uh, but literally I I couldn't uh, focus on the ground glass. I just like usually with my M2, I go in on it and I, you know, like focus on the actual bits of grain in the ground glass so that I can get an accurate picture. I, I had to like sit there and calibrate this stuff before I worked, uh, just using one object and moving it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until I had perfect focus. So, uh, but. Uh, We've got our ground glass at the end there. Uh, then from there, this is actually a plastic tube. Um, this is going to be replaced eventually with a couple of, because uh, yeah, this is like a, a plastic tube with some tape. Uh, and of course, to make that mate to this, I had to, you know, gaff tape around. Uh, the 55 millimeter tube there that way it fit in there snugly and I could kind of pull it and push it to focus correctly with what ends in a 50 millimeter f 1.0 uh, lens out of a uh, night vision device actually um, so this would have been on a pair of goggles you would have had two on these and uh, actually they went uh, these lenses were two and two and then right behind them were CCD sensors which actually picked up an image and then further it could be enhanced through gain and such uh, and then it was actually displayed uh, to the person wearing it uh, through LCDs um, uh, of course I didn't I don't need all that I just need the lens uh, so eventually this is going to be mounted a little bit better than just inside plastic tubes and such I'm going to have a couple of uh, step up down rings um, uh, and then a tube uh, that's actually larger than the whole thing uh, and then this lens will have to be screwed it'll, it'll probably take quite a bit of screwing to get it because it's literally like the space between close focus and uh, far away focus is like that long it's it's pretty much like an inch or something so that's going to be a lot of turning and turning and turning but the, the images look I, I'm happy with them uh, I'm not going to be using it all the time, but now uh, this is going to cut to a series of images I did with this lens and this whole setup. So, there you go. Have fun with it. Um, feel free to ask me about anything about it.